on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. New secrets uncovered in the game code. Could it be possible to be abducted by a UFO? And does Rockstar have a special surprise for this year's E3? It's all here on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I'm your host, James Jarvis. And this week I'm joined by Mr. Trophy, Ian Wilson. Hello. Hello, Ian. Yes, so lots of new secrets to uncover this yes. week that could be hiding in GTA 5. Uh, these have obviously been discovered thanks to the PC release and a new influx of players investigating the mysteries which we have covered for the last, like, two, two years. years yeah. But they're just catching up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're yeah. new newcomers to this thing. Yeah. Um, so later we've got news of a fully modded comedy club. But first... There's some more UFO talk, yes. uh, the old mysterious UFOs <laughs> uh, that we've been investigating for ages. Now, this has been reported on Kotaku, but it first came from Reddit, and it seems to be a new concept that the process of being abducted by UFOs might still be in the game. Yes. Yeah, somebody, uh, Trainwreck420... Um, has gone through the some of the scripts in the game and found the the UFO script, um, which spawns in the UFO at the top of Mount Chiliad mm -hmm. that we're all aware of, um, and he's found that it's got the various conditions in there that we know about. You have to be there at three in the morning. It has to be raining. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have hundred percent completion on your save. But he seems to have found some other stuff within that same script as well. Yeah, there's like one other variable that's a global variable that has to be either minus one or 999, nothing yeah. in between. <laughs> um, and that then apparently triggers an extra bit of Loading. lines of code, yeah. which loads in interiors. Well, something that's labelled interiors, and it's yeah. quite important to point out that even if this does come to fruition in some <laughs> form or another, yes. the fact that it's... Labelled as interior doesn't necessarily make it an interior. Like exactly. It could be an, something that's just labelled that, yeah. that loads in like an object or something mm -hmm. like like the UFO. Yeah. So, it, the, I mean, it could all be related just to the UFO that we see when we're at the top of the Chiliad. But let's just go down the rabbit hole for yeah. a minute and pretend that it isn't. So no one knows really what this variable is. There's a chance it could be leftover code. Uh, and then there are suggestions in the Reddit post that if it is leftover code, and somehow someone manages to make these variables active that the game could then crash because it's yeah, trying to load something, something that, that, that isn't there. Been built for. I mean, we have seen uh, a UFO interior at one point in the game uh, where Michael gets drawn Abducted. up into the, the ship. Yeah. So we, they're, they're sort of separate from maybe from all of this. We do know that a UFO interior exists as a model within the game for that cutscene if nothing else yeah so whether that whether that's related at all maybe that's possibly causing a bit of a red herring that is coming up that the, the ufo interior is coming up within these searches because of that particular cutscene. yeah because that i mean that interior will be loaded will be triggered during the sequence when michael gets abducted yeah. it will then load in that interior so it, it could be related to that if it if it isn't mm -hmm. then the, the challenge is to find out what this variable is. Now, yeah. there's some talk of it being like an item of clothing. Possibly. Or like uh, like sunglasses, like men in black style uh, yeah. sunglasses. But then them having like a variable of minus one or 999 nine, nine, nine. Yeah. seems weird. The suggestion of it being like ammunition, because that's the thing that goes up that high. But again, that's, yeah. that's weird. Hmm. Uh, there's talk on like positioning. Like there's some... Uh, what letters in the code that are like P and then MC, which we put our people that are like Mount Chiliad, and there's there's references yeah. to Mount Josiah in there as yeah. well. So it's yeah. like, oh, where do we stand? Um, it could just be available for loading the UFO as a whole, as we said. Like we know, if you get too far away from it, it despawns from some of the other ones around the city. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? That if you move too far away from it like the main body disappears you still see the lights going around mm. um, other people have been looking at if you zoom in on it through the telescope or through a sniper rifle scope uh, you get a tractor beam yeah. that becomes visible even if the actual if you move to a position where the ship is no longer visible you can make the beam appear coming out of it um, people have tried aiming a sniper rifle at it 
and kind of slowly walking their way towards yeah. underneath the tractor beam. Apparently you can't quite get all the way underneath it before it disappears, but people have got close to it. But Yeah, now, I, now <laughs> on that point, I wonder if anyone has tried putting a second character underneath that tractor beam. Mm. So you go with Michael or someone, put him in position, switch characters to Franklin, make the UFO appear, and then make the tractor beam appear. Yeah. See if anyone can, like be sucked up in the yeah. thing it, it'd be complicated <laughs> exactly but yeah. not beyond the realms no, of you know no, it'd certainly be doable so so i guess it's interesting that this code has, has been found mm. uh it, it looks like given the the nature of it and that people are now looking at it now that it's either going to be solved in like a week or they'll mm. find the variable that is changing the thing or it isn't the problem with these things is the people who are doing the breaking into the code and getting all this stuff aren't the same people who have like 100% game save mm. completions. So they're like going, can you try this? And then they have to wait for somebody who has that to, to go and do it. Yeah. And and as we know, there aren't that many people on PS4, Xbox One, PC that have a full 100% exactly, complete yeah. game save. Because uh, it takes ages. It does, yeah. yeah. Do. Like I did it on PS3. I've not quite finished it on PS4 yet. Um, I mean, for some people have said, obviously... With the the step up between like PS3 and Xbox 360 and the and the new versions, people have said that some of the models for the UFOs look slightly different. Mm-hmm. So may, may, whether something's changed between the versions, there, it's something else that will be investigated. Yeah. Well, if you have any suggestions to what all this means or any things that we should go and try when we get a hundred percent save, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, which yeah. will be really soon now, right? Mm, yeah. Good. Uh, then. <laughs> Get in touch with us on Twitter at GTA Video Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA Video Clock or leave something in the comments below with links, any suggestions you've got, any things you've seen of other people trying it, solutions and things that you know don't work. Uh, and we will continue as we have done for the last yeah. year and a half. Still investigating. To see, I mean, I don't even, like, what's the point of even getting in a UFO? Like, you get in there and then... Because as we've covered before on the show, like flying them around would be weird. Like mm. in single player, maybe that's fine, but you can't fly them in multiplayer or anything. No, I mean that's it. It's worth pointing out that we've 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 talked about using multiple characters to try out different scenarios. There has been single player. People have tried it in in GTA Online, and it it, it doesn't appear mm. at the same position so it's definitely a single player only thing yeah so i guess if you want to fly ufo around the city maybe this is a way to do it but Mm. but you know it's something that probably rockstar would have looked at and gone is that really fun yeah exactly just getting a helicopter yeah (laughs) and i mean i i find flying helicopters are a bit slow when you've got jets around (laughs) yeah so i guess maybe the ufo would go really fast yeah maybe possibly but then you know for all of this to happen and you'd be able to actually like pilot it there'd have to be a a vehicle, uh, like a UFO vehicle, that would be in the game code, which you'd think would be, well, definitely easier to find than yes. the parameters for how you get sucked exactly. up into the UFO. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're, the jury's out on this one. Mm. Um, so let's leave UFOs for a while and move on to something funnier. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. So GTA, it looks like, may be getting a comedy club. Well, GTA 5, I should say. Yeah. Uh, splitting Sides is... Re- Possibly returning. Yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah the split sides comedy club. Uh, I think it looks like um, somebody has is this it is uh, raised, raised, raised 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 aka dark rebirth. Yeah, on the GTA forums has used what looks like a trainer, um, which allows you to modify your player character's position within the game world um, to go down, sort of below the actual street level where you, obviously you'd normally be walking yeah. around and sort of buried beneath the city has uh, found various in building interiors including one for this seems to be labeled up with posters and things for uh, split sides west mm. um now people who've played GTA 4 will no doubt remember the split sides comedy club you Ricky can go Gervais to Ricky there. Gervais was in there Frankie Boyle was in there yeah. Um, Cat, uh, um, I can't remember his name. Cat. So I wanted to say Cat Stevens. I was going to say Stevens. No, nah, I don't not think right. that's not that's not yeah. him. Um, <laughs> so that yeah. Um, so they they were all in there, 
Um, so yeah, this this interior has been discovered. It's got a, a stage and a, a microphone and various seating around. There's a bar in there as well. It's um, it's like it's fully modelled. Like yeah. it's as modelled as the like uh, the new club that we talked about on the, the show yeah, last week. Yeah, the Bahama Bahama Mamas. Bahama Mamas club. Yeah, it's indeed. like it's as detailed as that. Yeah. There's bottles everywhere. There's signs. There's posters. There's exactly. places to sit now. Now you can't get to these locations. No. They're not like connected by like secret underground tunnels. They're no. they're just like. I think I think his description was he sort of used the GTA Rockstar editor to actually uh, once he sort of discovered this area mm. to to use the GTA Rockstar editor to um, get a free cam and actually fly it around these different areas to inspect them i don't think he could actually get in and walk around them no so. no that's right because uh, he also found the gta online character select environment the prison the, uh, the, uh, the police station yeah with the lineup photograph stuff yeah so there's that, that around yeah. there and the winners losers lobby from gta online when yes when you come out of your pvp match yeah you, or a race or whatever you look you're like that. you're in a big garage yeah uh, so it's that's down there as well so but those two things interestingly are in the game yeah they uh, are we know they yes. are there so so maybe this new interior is coming. Maybe it's part of a new piece of DLC, like a you know nightlife or or comedy type thing or things that you do in the evening. Yeah. That's attached to the Bahama Mum. Maybe this is maybe. all related. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's interesting that that this that comedy club interior is kind of buried beneath the map, whereas the Bahama Mamas was sort of. In the where map. it should be yeah. inside a, a building interior through a doorway. So it's, it's possible that maybe the Bahama Mamas Club will be an actual place you will be able to visit in the future and actually walk around and explore. Yeah, like the there. strip clubs. Like Yeah, yes. like, the, like the other clubs in there. Whereas um, the split sides west, because it's it's put in sort of the same area, some of this GTA Online stuff that you can't that you you are put in in cutscenes, but you can't actually explore yourself. Yeah. It might be yeah, they work the same as it did in GTA Four, where you'll just go to an entrance and there'll be like just a, a marker that transports you off, or press a button to enter it, and then you'll be just taken to like a cutscene where you're sat in that comedy club watching a show. You don't actually get to walk around and explore it. Yeah, I think that's much more likely. Like just as it happened in GTA Four, there'd be like a new door with a sign on it. Yeah. You'd go up to it and go, I want to go see some comedy. You'd go in there and you just sort of, the camera would go first person. you just like, you're sitting in the audience. Yeah. You watch the show and you can leave and then that's, that's done. It. That's what I think. Now, the interesting thing about one of these, or some of these posters is that, that there is a festival of comedy poster, ah. which has the dates June uh, 21st, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, yep. which this year is the very tail end of E3. Oh, that now, is interesting. I'm not saying that there's going to be any kind of announcements at E3 or anything, but if you were going to have a comedy festival, the world would be looking towards E3 for news and announcements and things. If you said, I think it's June 20th is the Friday. Right. So I think it's right after, like the day after E3 finishes. So that, that sort of weekend. It's that weekend yeah. of comedy, and then oh. you're like, hey, go and play GTA. There's it's a new, new comedy content. club to yeah. go and look at. I mean, that would be brilliant. There are other posters up there, I think, for dates in March, but yeah. they've gone. Yeah. So, so we're not going to speculate about them. <laughs> uh, so so maybe maybe we're getting some kind yeah. of festival of Who comedy knows? coming. I, mean, like, we've, I think we've, we've discussed in the past, Rockstar are not big on E3. No, they won't be there, but... but. I, Possibly one of the uh, yeah. like Sony or Microsoft could announce it. That's it, and they do like putting out sort of big announcements around it to kind of say we're we're not a E three, but here's some cool stuff. Exactly, we don't the need kind to be there to show you. So you could do right at the end. Like yeah. you could. Everyone's like Thursday would happen. Everyone's like E three's over this year. Oh, uh, Rockstar weren't there again. That's disappointing. And then on Friday, bang, Festival yeah. of Comedy weekend. Here's a load of new content. Yeah, we will see. Not long to wait now till that. Exactly, a couple yeah. of weeks. So we will find out then. So let us know what you think about all these things in the comments below or get in touch on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be back next Wednesday at 5 p.m. BST.